guys, what's going on? This is Travis P11. We are back at the range. We're at the Rob Jeffrey Firing Range, and today we brought with us the very cool six hour M516 semi automatic 556 sporting all purpose rifle. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just uh, take a little test drive on this rifle and see how well it performs. We'll do a little bit of target practice with it, just shoot a few groups of 10, and then maybe just hit some steel, try to hit some gongs. We'll see maybe how far we can take it out. Uh, so long as the weather holds up, it's springtime in Nebraska as usual. Um, this gun is on loan to us from Stan, the owner of SS Pond in Lexington, Nebraska. You guys go ahead and give Stan a call and he'll take care of all of your firearms needs. I'll have the uh, contact information for SS Pond in the bottom of the video, right? Just give you a heads up. So, all right, well, hey, we're just going to go ahead and get started right now. Let's have some fun. Okay, in that last test, we were shooting some 55 grain American Eagle uh, 5.56 ammo. Sorry, I got the camera rolling in the Jeep so that the camera doesn't get rained on. It's just sprinkling a little bit. Uh, well, let's go ahead and check out and see how our group looked and see, uh, we just did five rounds on the top, four rounds on the bottom, and we'll see how she performed. Okay, so the first target I was shooting at was the top target. Oh, it looks like it took six shots on the top. Whoops, didn't realize that. So we had one bullseye. And then we're a couple inches off. I'm just going to think maybe that was a fluke because I might have made an adjustment after that first shot. Uh, very tight group. I'm talking a little over an inch. Five rounds at uh, 75 yards. That's respectable. Just shooting some regular ball ammo brass. Down below, one, two, three, four. Uh, about an inch and a half. And again, I did make some adjustments. You know, the lead sled is pretty good. But it does move a little bit, so it is kind of annoying at times trying to keep things consistent. But I'm also trying to learn how to use the thing. So that's not bad. That's not bad. Okay, let's just do a little bit of iron shooting, and then maybe we'll take it out and hit some gongs. All right, here we go, 250 yards. guys we had a lot of fun today with the six hour m516 so my thanks go out to stan at ss pond for lending me this beauty i'm going to go home and get it cleaned up and then we'll do a tabletop review on it 
put a few rounds through today. I just did uh, some target practice for you, shot some steel, and then uh, we shot the gong at 250 yards. I didn't want to take it much further than that because I really did have trouble uh, seeing the gong uh, with the red dot. It almost had it covered up completely at that distance. Man, this is a very sweet shooting AR-15. They're very nice. You want a deluxe piece for your collection, this would be the way to go. This would be a lot of fun for maybe three gun, depending on what you need to put on it for accessories. Yeah, just awesome. Recoil didn't feel quite as severe as the M400. Um, I thought maybe it was reduced a little bit. Again, we got that one seven uh, inch twist barrel. So it was, it was pretty accurate with the ammo that I was shooting. I was very happy with it. So there you go, guys. I want to thank you for joining me today. Um, please check me out over on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. You can also support me over on Patreon to help me keep feeding these beauties ammunition. It's uh, patreon.com backslash TravisP11. And uh, the reins are starting to roll in, so I think we're going to go ahead and roll it a wrap. Want to get this home and get it cleaned up. But guys, I want to thank you for joining me today. Please like or subscribe. And as you know, we will see you soon. All right, thanks for joining me today, guys. Bye.